Hi everyone, welcome back to the Node.js tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Template Engine. A Template Engine is a tool that enables front-end developers write HTML markup that will either insert variables into the final output of the template or run some programming logic at runtime before sending the final HTML to the browser for display. Okay, so I am going to use EJS template engine. EJS simply stands for embedded JavaScript. It's a simple templating engine. Okay, now let's see how uh, can we use EJS template engine. For that, first of all, install EJS. So go to the command prompt and just install the EJS. So type here npm install EJS. Okay. So now press enter. Now it's installing the EJS. All right, installation has been completed. So now go to the project and inside the project, just click index.js file. And here inside the index.js file, first of all, set the view engine. So just write here app.set. And inside the set method, just pass here the view engine, comma, EJS. Okay. All right. Now set the file. Now create a folder inside the root directory. So go to the root directory and just click on folder. And let's say folder name is views. All right. And inside the views folder, just create some files. So just click on new file. Let's say first file name is home.ejs. Create another file about.ejs and contact.ejs. Right now go to the home.ejs and just first of all write here HTML5 boilerplate. So type here exclamation sign and press tab now change the title here so just type here the title home and inside the body just write here h1 tag and inside the h1 tag just type here home page okay and just copy this line and paste inside the about us about dot ejs file and contact dot ejs file all right and change the title here so just type here about and here about the page and inside the contact.ejs file just write here contact and here contact us page all right now go to the index dot js file uh, js file index.js file okay and inside the index.js file uh, just render the view so here right uh, just remove this line just write here response.render inside the render just pass here the view name so pass here the home view and inside the about route just pass here the response dot render about view okay so just write here about all right and inside the contact route just render the contact view so just write here response dot render and pass here the contact all right now save the file and let's run this so go to the command prompt and here just type here no, uh, node space index.js press enter all right now express is running on localhost 3000 so go to the browser and just go to the url localhost 3000 just refresh the page you can see here home page okay if i go to the uri about 
you can see here about us page and if i change your contact you can see your contact us page okay now let's pass some data to the view so inside the index.js file uh, let's go inside the home route and just uh, create a object uh, let's say object is a student and inside this object just pass name okay let's say name is Jennifer age let's say is this 25 and sex female all right this is a student object now pass this uh, student object uh, to the view so just right there inside the curly bracket student colon student object okay all right now save the file and now go to the home.ejs file and just access the student object here so just write here inside the s2 tag just type here the student detail all right and just write here the, the student name so angle bracket percent sign equal to percent angle bracket close and just write here a student dot name and just copy this line and this two time and add here the age and sex okay now save the file and let's run this so first of all rerun the index.js file so just stop it pressing ctrl plus c and just run the index.js file so just type here node space index.js press enter all right now go to the browser and just go to the home directory and uh, home routes and you can see here the student details Jennifer name Jennifer is 25 and X female okay spelling mistake just correct the spelling of the female all right now save the file and rerun the index.js file you can refresh here you can see here name is an set okay all right now let's see the if statement so for that go to the home.ejs and uh, here let's see the if, uh, if statement so inside the little bracket percent sign just write here if student dot is is greater than and equal to 18 then then just print here present sign and close the if statement here if a student is is greater than and equal to 18 just print here inside the p tag you are adult okay and if a student dot is is less than 18 then just write here the this part okay and angle bracket start and close and else part just write here the message you are 
no data will be okay now save the file and just let's check so rerun the index.js file go to the command prompt and just write here node space index.js press enter now refresh the page you can see here you are adult okay if i change the age here so go to the index.js file and just change the age let's say age is 16 I'll save the file and just rerun the index.js file refresh the page you can see here you are not adult okay all right now let's see the loop so go to the home.js and here i'm just going to print 1 to 10 okay so just write here angle bracket percent sign percent sign and close angle bracket okay inside this tag just write here for let i is equal to 1 colon semicolon i is less than and equal to 10 i plus plus okay and just print here inside the p tag value of i so just write here i okay close the loop all right now save the file and let's run this so go to the command prompt and just type here node index.js okay now refresh the page all right you can see here 1 to 10 all right so in this way you can uh, use template engine so that's all about template engine so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching